describe in common what you love and what you don't. Come out with the boys in the woods. Welcome, everybody, to the Boys in the Woods podcast. As always, we have Charles, and today we have Talking Dirt podcast absolutely just talk that dirt just shame me the wrong way just throw it all over me and make me dirty <laughs> there you go dude i'm envious of that intro that's a pretty cool intro y'all have rolling in there i told them it's badass you should tell them that'll bring i have no idea where that mischievous and dirty qr code sense Real I, haven't, dirty. I haven't yeah. tried it yet i don't have my b suit so I like to have my bee suit on when I'm going around the internet in these dirty places. Yeah. You never know what gets <laughs> yeah, into these for crevices. Sure. For sure. There's plenty of those on there. <sighs> yes. You guys were talking the other day in your podcast. You're talking about climbing in the old. I mean, you were mixing some chemicals for your crops. Climb in there and mix, what, five and a half gallons with 200 gallons of freaking for fertilizer or something? See, well, you guys are legit farmers then. Like, you guys live it. You don't just talk it. You guys live it. You absolutely do it. Yeah, man, that's that's funny that like our show talked dirt to me. We kind of came up with that because we encompass both sides. We're first cousins. Give you a little background on us. Like again, I'm Logan. This is Bobby Lee. Yeah, first cousins, and our dads farm together. And Bobby Lee, he's veterinarian. He liked school a lot more than I did. And he's in the cattleman side, and I'm on the row crop side. So that's what I do full time. Yeah, I was about to say, that's Logan's full time gig. I mean, that, <laughs> we're getting rich doing the podcast. Oh, Money's right. just flowing in. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but uh, yes, he definitely lives it. It's nearly a full time job for me, but it is my side hustle. Okay. I'm right. not quitting my day job quite the yet. Vet, the vet, the veterinarian. Oh, that, that's yeah. my main job. Yeah. So I'm assuming. You grew up on, Logan, you grew up on a farm. Yeah. And it's, whenever I drive by all these farms in Wisconsin, I'm, I'm one of my only farm memories in my life outside of a childhood friend running really fast into an invisible fence line and almost cutting his head off and doing this cool <laughs> little, wah, wah. Nice. Zach, shout out Zach. I don't even know. Zach, what up, man? Out in that world, the universe might bring you to me again. That would be funny. But that, and then the movie Son-in-Law. Yeah. So I drive by farms all the time and I'm like, man, that'd be so much fun. And how rightfully wrong am I when I say that driving by thinking, oh my God, at four o'clock in the afternoon on the golf course. Yeah, man, it's, I'll tell you, farming is interesting. Like I, we, again, we both grew up primarily in hay. We did a lot of hay and cattle yeah. Yeah. and uh, branched further into the row crop side. And that's what I really resonated the most with and i still mess with a few cows but farming i tell everybody which i'm trying to cut back you'll notice tonight i'm drinking water drink a lot more alcohol yeah. since i started farming than i ever did yeah. <laughs> but i th there's really nothing else i could see myself doing and i've branched out and tried other things and I always find my way back to farming and there's really nothing like it. If something happened and I had the my operation went belly up, man, I'd I'd probably have to go work for a farmer. That's just what right. I was doing. But you don't see yourself asking people if you would like fries with that. No, right. I don't have that. They're I, making a lot of money nowadays. So twelve fifty an hour, go oh, for geez, it. For an hour, they they might come close to it. Yeah. yeah they, I, some years, I guarantee you they do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they might be beating what I'm making, but yeah, and it's funny. I don't, I couldn't deal with the public like that. That's a good thing. Yeah. With farming. Yeah. I'm off to myself a right. lot of yeah. times and I don't deal well with people yeah. telling me what to do. And no, yeah. Every single person that knows me would tell you the same thing. And I'm 10 months away from a public administration bachelor's degree. I have no oh. idea what the fuck I'm doing. No, yeah. Congratulations school. <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> You're the politics realm, it is wild. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just found out that you can search a gamer tag on a Call of Duty server and hear what that gamer tag has said in its entirety. Oh, man. My political career is over yeah. once people find out that I am once the Canuck, EGC, Mufasa, Prometheus, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. See, I was Pimpinator, Pimpinator 545. Pimpinator. <laughs> Wow. Nice. Yeah. I, I, mine was go big orange something. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pit Lee, our buddy 
buddy Lee, his he was a farmer and his was pigweed. We all kind of had a call of duty run there. That, that's a been a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Yep. when I lived in town and had high speed internet. And then I moved out of <laughs> yeah, town. There you go. And, we get about 26 up and down for about 15 minutes a month now. Where you're <laughs> now, now I've got high speed internet again just here within the last six months. But yeah, yeah. I don't need to get more. back into that. Uh, <laughs> no, it's. It, if it's not ready player one at this point, it's just not worth it. Go. I've got too many adult things to do. I haven't cut the grass in three days. I feel, I feel dirty. <laughs> well, I had a question. You guys live in Texas. You put as much effort Seriously. into your food plots as you do as your, your farming abilities. You guys yeah, are big hunters. You go ahead. Uh, I was going to just say Tennessee. We're in Tennessee. Oh, you're in Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're, oh, we're, I thought y'all were saying y'all were in Texas. No, fuck oh, no. we're in fucking oh, Wisconsin. Good God, good God no, right? <laughs> Minute 658, and we're now finding out they're not that far south from us than we thought. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, the reason they get to speak English in Texas is because of Tennesseans. Yeah. Uh, we have to remind them that. Yeah. Uh, oh, that. this is awesome. This is something that we normally do, and it, we just haven't had a guest anyways yeah oh, so we don't have a guest we have, mul- we have multiple guests out no, of texas no we haven't oh, had a we haven't had a guest that led to this conversation oh no no yes but joey uh, absolutely rips on texas and he lives there which is funny <laughs> <laughs> but as in tennessee is texas that state like for Mich- michigan it's ohio state for wisconsin here we've hey, got the fibs this is the yeah, only thing we get into is university of tennessee is ut yeah, right. yeah, because yeah. Texas will say, "Well, we're UT," and I'm like, "There was that it. horns incident." So we were us. We, the University of Tennessee was founded like a hundred years before Texas was even a state. <laughs> so and then yeah, you get into whole Davy Crockett, at the Alamo, yeah, yeah no. we, we, there, which the at the, the volunteer state. We yeah, we were still getting right. married in the church. <laughs> Yeah, you guys were freaking out there, still patting cows on the ass in Texas. <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. Okay, so outside of sports in Tennessee, who, who's your state rival? What's your? What, I mean, even outside of sports, Michigan just doesn't like Ohio and vice versa. So <laughs> they just don't like people. Period. That's what. Yeah. It is. yeah. What? I, I think mean, it all goes back to sports, really. Yeah. Like, like we love to crap on Alabama and yeah, talk about they. You know, well, thank God, cousins go. and everything, but uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they sure do. No, did you actually hear what I said though earlier? I, I was I asked you, did you guys put as much effort into your food plots for hunting? I said you're big hunters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, now, as far as my like for me, food plots is man. I have soybeans and corn planted that I harvest anyways. Yeah, and that's typically what I hunt. Do you right. rotate your crops then? Do you guys do that down there? Yeah. You don't have to as much as often. Man, I try to. Typically, I primarily am corn and soybeans, and occasionally yeah. I'll do wheat. But typically, I'll do two years of soybeans, one year of corn. I try to get yeah. about two out and then rotate. Yeah, and I don't know. I'm always I've been I've gotten really big into cover crops here lately, and so I'm adding that into the mix. And see, you guys are not you guys don't believe the government when they say that there's only 30 years worth of crops left in the soil. That, no, that, no. Abs- that absolute astronaut nonsense that they're spreading out there trying to tell people because yeah. any farmer would tell you that as long as you do things the proper way there's it's an endless amount of crops that can be produced on your farmland as long as you take care of your land oh yeah and the whole like the big buzzword for the last what five yeah. ten years is sustainability yeah farmers have been thinking about that for really probably since the beginning of time they want to act like they've come up with this new idea that we should try to be sustainable and of course the whole narrative especially from the coastal elites that farmers are a bunch of neanderthals a bunch of rednecks we don't really know you know what bloomberg say you just put a seed in the ground put a seed in the ground yeah you know? right why and don't I mean, we just why don't we diss on the people who are fucking with our food exactly <laughs> yeah yeah oh dude i'll yeah. tell you one of the, it makes no sense to me one of the things that got me back when trump was running the first time I was on Facebook and it was like our local news had shared some article about, I think farmers and overwhelmingly they were supporters of Trump. It was like over 80%. Most farmers I know are very conservative, but this dude had commented in there and he said that he wished every farmer would go broke. And I'm like, you did that. I remember this. Yeah. That's the idiocy 
and the ignorance that we deal with. It's like people people want to hate on us. It's, dude, you realize like not only food, but like your clothes. Uh, not yeah. myself personally, but we think of the thing. If your, all the your farmers, alcohol, yeah, I mean yeah, everything, yeah. He was over, drinking over and over. Drugs, probably his patron <laughs> would be gone if he uh, if that had. Or bad it's dog. crazy how ass backwards we have things. It's you make a wet ass pussy, and that shit goes crazy the same oh, wow. year they canceled baby it's cold outside yep. yes yep. but you get all of these opinions from somebody who would fart in a microphone and the shit would go to number one on tuesday on the top 10 hot billboard charts but we don't listen to farmers or doctors or fucking scientists yeah. And not like them crazy fuckers like Bill Nye, who isn't actually a scientist, just fucking worked <laughs> on television and people can't figure he's that com- out. He's a comedian. Yeah. It's yes. fucking crazy to me. But hey, that's I've, I was. Te- it's funny. A couple months ago, I was telling my wife this. I was like, farmers got to have something figured out. They fucking feed us. Maybe we should listen to them. <laughs> and, and the whole narrative that like farmers don't care about the planet and all this, like, I don't. I'm sure there's other industries that directly tie their livelihood to the soil and the planet, but none more so than, come on. That, that yeah. makes, no we started sense. blaming our climate change on cows. I knew Farm. shit was going downhill from yeah. there. Cows can't even fucking talk at this <laughs> yeah. point. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. don't fart around me, cow. How dare yeah. you? It's, we want to act like, and whether it's cows or you know, just a million years ago when it was mainly buffalo. Yeah. The fact that room and it's grazing isn't part of a healthy ecosystem. Yeah. Don't even get me going. Yeah. We've been here for 11,800 yeah. years. We do not have everything figured out. Them animals have been here a really long time. Yeah. They've been doing like, just fine. The, obviously, from one of the things people don't think about as well is, for me, I got to make a profit. That's how I make a living. This is my career. Mm-hmm. And I I had a guy on Instagram. Social media is a cesspool. Oh, man. Times, but I had a guy on Instagram the other day tell me I just needed to quit my job and get a different job. And I'm like, so that's your advice to farmers. And but the better the soil is, the better my crops do. The right, better yeah. my crops do, the more money that I make. It's a business at the end of the day. So why would I want to just pillage the ground and not take care of it? Because you see those guys. I mean, we we had them around here, dudes that would disc do all every year. They lose a tremendous amount of topsoil. And every year their crops tend to decline. They're having to apply more and more fertilizer and they lose that. It's been documented. They lose feet of topsoil after so yeah. many years. Yeah. And so this no till, but the people want it both. They want you to not do tillage, but they yeah. want you to not use chemical. And it's right. like, yeah. right, they're Those two are at odds. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. we, we yeah. with the cover crop, you can roll it and crimp it and, That'll work, but you typically still have to go in and apply a later application of herbicide. So you're right. not eliminating all chemical, but you right. can't get that through these. So, uh, heads. This is going to be a whole bunch of common sense. <coughs> so forget. <coughs> oh, excuse. Me. Oh, you can say it, Charles. <laughs> the, universe the, is trying, the universe is trying to like stop me gotta, from throwing this common sense vape. out there. You got to put that vape pen down, man. It's getting to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That we don't speak that language around here, man. <laughs> but anyway, so here's some common sense for me. The he's, farmland, he's like, he's like, yeah, the, yeah, the farmland <laughs> you've been farming on. How long has it been farmed on before you? Oh gosh. Okay, so that's fine. Um, how long do you think it's been farmed on before that? Yeah. Uh, a pr- probably a pretty long time. Yeah. So why tomorrow is it all of a sudden going to fucking change? Yeah, Because, again, I'm not going to go into a hospital and be like, yo, I've got something going on upstairs. I need to cut myself open. This is just a clean spot for me to do it. Why the fuck am I going to go out to a farmland that's been farmed on for hundreds of years the same fucking way and has been producing great and has been doing wonderful things and then me go, there's this piece of paper that somebody wrote 10 years ago that makes me think you're doing it wrong. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. That's crazy to me. But again, sorry. Oh, yeah. I live Every- in this weird common sense world. Everybody's an expert on the internet yeah. these days. I'm telling yeah. you that. Fuck, I give out internet plants all the time. I yeah. do. That's what stop wasting oxygen. Tell you, man, that social media, it's a lot of 
I have a lot of fun. I put out my little farmer rant videos on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll get some very interesting feedback on there. And I gave a shout out. Actually, it might have been on Talk Dirt to Me's page or maybe even been on the podcast. I gave a shout out to one of the dumbest comments I've ever gotten. And the guy basically <laughs> he said, farmers don't know how to weed their fields. And <laughs> I was like, well, what do you suggest? And he goes, you need to get on your hands and knees and you need to crawl through there and you need to pull up those weeds. And I actually <laughs> took the time because it was so dumb that I was actually insulted. I was like, this is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. I know and that I, feeling. I, I even took the time and I'm not a math guy, but I yeah. figured up like in a square, I can't remember foot or square meat, like yeah, you just whatever. Did footage. Yeah. yeah. Like in a square foot, how many weeds you would probably have Long story short, it ended up being, it had been several trillion weeds that you would have to pull on like a thousand acres. Or maybe yeah. I was just roughly figuring a thousand acres, not counting millions of acres. Or I guess maybe I did it across millions of acres. I, I can't remember now, but <clears throat> I know it was an absolute ass load of weeds. Yeah. Trillions of acres or trillions of weeds. Like I've never done a trillion things in my life. Like, no. and this no. dude that did it, he probably has a greenhouse in his backyard. I don't have a problem with guys having a greenhouse, but I have a problem with the guy dude, that has the greenhouse. I was just so thinking that. Him. I was like, do you think his greenhouse is four by eight or eight by twelve? Yeah, I have a green. pick up six fucking weeds. It takes me five minutes. Why can't these fucking farmers do it? Shit. I had a greenhouse and realized that, that shit just it just does not work the proper way. That's not a proper way to grow plants. If you want to grow flowers, shit, yeah, go for it. Grow plants, no, they absolutely not. So my wife's into house plants. Yeah, I just went to go. How, to house plants? Do you do? You, do you, I'm you just curious. Being on a farm, do you them, run right? into this? Like, I went to go take a shower, and I opened the curtain, and there was six fucking plants in there. Going, whoa, we're in here, and I'm sorry, and I had to close the curtain and walk out till tomorrow. Is this like normal on the farm? And should I expect it if I go to a B and B, or is this just something fucking house plant people do? I just I think that's a house plant thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so you don't be, fucking see it on a farm, but I see it in a city in the middle of 32,000 fucking people. I'm not going to lie. That sounds kind of like a city thing to me, man. <laughs> How much rainfall do y'all get a year? Yeah, not it's a like, lot. I don't have any room for this shit. I'm just gonna <laughs> Seriously, I felt, I was like, fuck, sorry. Close the curtain. I felt yeah, bad. We just, we just don't know what I walked in on. Yeah. Just, you just set them outside and let it rain. Yeah. <sighs> It's like well, we walking into a Furby event, telling people, "Hey, I got to use the restroom. You ain't getting in there clean. You ain't getting out of there <laughs> oh, dirty. I tell you that much." Yeah, yeah fuck, Charles, I don't know that's... what house plants do. That's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. That, that was one of the questions we were, I was going to ask you too. You guys, we went out west for work, and they could tell our accent based off of a couple coworkers that I have. They have some very thick, like Minnesota Canadian accents, and they go went to the to the casino and the guys yeah he goes you guys are from minnesota or uh, he goes wisconsin he goes no nope, we're from wisconsin and the guy goes nailed it i knew it he goes can you guys tell other people's accents based off of uh, living down there or is the texas the florida the georgia the dialogue is there, there's got to be some certain words what are some words that differentiate people's accents for you guys or is it just Holy a crap. boot is a killer for us. A, a boot, boot, yes. Or yeah. toilet, toilet, toileta. I'll say, yes. do got, what do you call, I don't want to say the word, I don't want to influence how you say this. What, what do you call a small stream that runs through the woods? A creek? Okay, yeah, there you go. There creek. you go. Yeah. Sometimes I hear them say creek, and it's just yeah. oh. open, you're going to say creek. Hey, yeah, yeah, good creek. job, you didn't let me down. No, yeah, but, they, but people still say pop. But see, I think that's people who trout fish actually will say that. People who don't have like trout streams won't say stream, they'll say crick. And it's, I'm pretty sure that word came from old English terms. Like that was like a small little like ravine that had water in it. Like people either pissed or shit in it. And that's what they called it. They call it a crick. There's no way that word actually came from anything normal. Yeah. I've listened on the Meat Eater podcast. I know Stephen Ranella. I think I've heard him say crick. And I've always thought it was weird, but uh, yeah, he turned us down to come on our podcast. He said that we were weird. Really? 
Really? We, there was a woman who runs a very successful bow hunting show that wanted to come on the podcast. And she she was all about it until maybe one or two episodes in that we were doing. And she said, it's just, it, she goes, I don't know if my, my, my producer is going to sign off on this. And I said, why? And she goes, she goes, it's not the curse words and the fact that you guys are unfiltered and uncensored. She goes, it's the fact that you guys your accents change when you talk. And I said, what do you mean? She goes, it sounds like you guys are acting when you're talking. I said, no, absolutely not. I said, that's just the fact that there's no green screen. There's no freaking stuff in front of us. Everything we say comes out of our freaking head. Like you guys are, what I learned from doing podcasting, especially people with professionals, they must need a script or something to read off of and they can't, or they can't function. Yeah, oh, wow. like they, we've they gotten a few, we've it. gotten a few of those in responses oh, yeah. too. Like they want to know the questions ahead of, of time of yep. the show uh, and the questions that ahead of time. And I'm like, yeah. what? Oh, okay. Why I've is the sky people, blue? Yeah, I've had several on my other show that would do that. I'd reach out, get in touch with their producer, and they'd ask for the script, and yeah, I told them yeah. that I don't have one. Like that's yeah. part of the way I just operate with it. It's very organic, mm -hmm. and so yeah, that always throws right. them off. One of the best I did have, I won't blast them, but I did have you a want, guest. Yeah, you want to blast them. Just that, <laughs> I did have one that said they would come on the show, or the person I reached out to would not do the show, but his yeah. manager would do the show for $150 an hour. No, oh, man. What? And I've, oh. I've, I never paid anybody to come on the show. No, no I got if, I, if you put me under that much pressure, I got, you're going to figure out what we're doing with the next 57 minutes. That's <laughs> yeah. fucking crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, where'd you go to school? Where'd you grow up? And I'm done. Yeah. So I think that we hit a college athlete up. I'm not going to throw shade at college athletes because I've reached out to plenty of them because we're a sports comedy interview podcast. One of them was 18, just turned 18 years old, Charles. I think I talked to you about this. He yeah. wanted, he said his NIL guy said that he gets a thousand dollars a podcast. I looked it up. The dude's never been on a podcast ever. <laughs> Hit me up with some ridiculous amount of money. And then yeah. I, so I met, I emailed the guy back. I said, what are you going to do with that money? He goes, throw a rager. <laughs> At least he responded to me with what he was going to do yeah. with the money. But yeah, he, he, there's no way these kids don't they know made what a they're movie doing about that already. Money. Do it, do it. Be original Disney. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Disney. That, that just screams to me. These poor kids don't need that money. They don't need that ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollar contract because they're living high on the hog without it. Oh yeah. That's uh, talk about like the script. When we show up to podcast, do our recording usually on Thursday nights. Yeah. yeah. We rarely like we. He usually says, "Do you have a topic?" I'm like, "Now, nah, do you?" He's like, "No." Nah. Like, all right, we'll just come up with something. On the way, yeah. yeah. Exactly. The useless, yeah. Yeah. The useless yeah. web com. That's where that was birthed from. No, I'm on no, that. Don't. I've been on that for like the last 72 hours. Just find don't a random shit. In. Don't go to the random button. Don't go to the random button. Just a rabbit hole you never escaped from? No, I clicked two <laughs> buttons. I clicked two buttons, and I may have a virus. <laughs> so... Trying to figure that out now. Yeah. Don't go to the random button. I was going to tell them that my buddy lives up in the UP in Wisconsin. In the Michigan State Extension Office, the MSU has a, it's an agricultural school, just like Wisconsin is. They have a, one of, I guess what you would call it, one of their, uh, their farms up there. They're growing all kinds of weird shit like bamboo, stuff that's not native to the United States. Now, it, it, I can only imagine how much taxpayer money they're spending to do this, to grow these bamboo stalks and all this other stuff up there. But this isn't the only one. These are all over the state. So I can only imagine that they're everywhere across the country. Just like Charles and I were talking about, I was talking to you guys about the land grabs, the Chinese shell corporations that were grabbing all this land. And uh, Charles, we brought one up. One of them was, what's his name, Charles? His name is Sun Sun Gun Sun Gun Shwin. Sun Gun Shwin. So he bought 140,000 acres in Texas. Ni hao ma. <laughs> Ni hao ma. Guda bay. Guda bay. <laughs> we know a little bit of Chinese Mandarin. Been Singapore has been number two on our podcast. Yes, we've got, so. we got 58 oh. active what listeners. What up, Singapore? Yes. Yes. They're going to hate us. So, They're going to yeah, hate us. One after of after their this. languages was yeah. Chinese Mandarin. And I'm like, yeah, let's learn some. Because <laughs> we didn't think they were going to be here this long. And they're here for now longer so i'll be learning a fourth 
word onto this phrase. What did so that far. mean? What did you uh, say? It's, Hello, how are you? Goodbye. Is I don't good? actually care how you are. I don't because I, I can't respond. Because <laughs> I know what I'm saying, and if it sounds like what I said, I could tell you what that was. But if you're like anything at all after that, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, good day. <laughs> well, yeah. see, we're fortunate then because our number two is Australia. So yeah. that's like yeah. a bad stretch for us. Nice. Yeah. 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 Canada. I say that Canada, Canada, and Australia are competing for number two. So we don't have to really learn like any. Yeah. foreign language yet yeah if you are a heroin dealer in singapore you're fucked so <laughs> we know that <laughs> if you guys are if you guys are actually you in australia is actually up but you guys should talk about opal opal mining is huge in australia yeah absolutely wonder, freaking so wild i hadn't even told you yet we had a guy just reach out he said he's a miner in australia he runs yeah. 1200 head of cattle that he runs yeah, holy list. crap i don't know he may be mining i'll have to ask him now if it's opal but they got a farm what do you tell me the name of the his farm he emailed me earlier today yeah uh, that's awesome and that's one of the coolest things about this podcast is that person from new zealand the zoo keeper that you sent me an email oh, yeah, yeah we yeah. tried getting Hannah. we wanted to see some wild animals have this lady come on the podcast and just bring wild animals and get have somebody get bit by them yeah, that was one of our episodes. Really hoping like an alligator or something. Yeah. Charles really ought to get bit. You need to get an anaconda yeah. in there. Which leads me to a question. The veterinarian. All right. What led <laughs> you to this? What led you to that? My dad's a vet. It's probably oh, the, nice. the easy. Yeah. But so I did grow up around it. I yeah. I, what's one of your what's one of your favorite childhood memories? That's gotta be what led you to it. A lot of school. He loved school. <laughs> I've got to write a. I've got to write a fourteen hundred word fucking essay after this. Yeah, fuck school. Yeah. Woo, go to yeah. school. It's worth it. I promise. Don't listen yeah. to me. When, he, when they uh, issued those assignments, he got excited. No, I, I, having to write papers. Luckily, I guess that's something being in the, yeah. more all the sciences. The chemistry's kill you, but oh. the writing wasn't too bad. But uh, yeah, it, interestingly, because all I do in my day job is dogs and cats. Yeah, but. I hung out around the clinic because my mom worked there too. And so we were, yeah, oh, I got it's a family thing. There. But uh, it, back in the old days, like pre 2000, we did a lot of large animal too. And so yeah. making farm calls, of course, because a lot of times it was late at night and yeah. we didn't have school the next day or whatever going with him. I don't know. I saw some pretty cool stuff. Just again, I was there every day after school. And, it's a life path. It's a yeah, family, yeah. It's a family yeah. environment. Yeah, and we had, always had a good time. And like, I remember I would help, like, in the kennel. and yeah. those, Which those guys, I thought they were old then, but they were, like, in high school. And they were like eight. <laughs> I know the words back yeah. in the old days, pre-2000, is still yeah. ringing in my mind right now. Yeah. <laughs> Screaming. I'm looking at I'm like, none of us are that old. Stop it. Yeah, well, not gone. yet. <laughs> You're right, though. That's how they, yeah, yeah, it is. But that, that was when we were still doing a bunch of large animal animals. Yeah, making farm calls and whatnot just because i love the farm animal side of things yeah. we're just unfortunately not in an area where it's very lucrative to be in that side of the business yeah. sons of bitches in the row crop keep running out yeah of cattle yeah they keep, <laughs> they keep plowing up all this pasture ground oh man a hell of a lot more sustainable and <laughs> better for the environment they're not the plants don't fart as much as the cows do right. and it's well, got to be a positive somewhere Charles, I thought, they sequester our carbon and they're over there ripping right. methane all the time hi right. i thought you yes we're not Charles, i thought you were gonna ask him that yeah <laughs> if plants fart Plants, what? yes, that's what CO2 is there, bud. Yeah, yeah. congratulations, you figured it's it a, out. I, I figured pollen is like Ooh, plant life STDs. science, like you're just, getting, yeah. you're just getting sex diseases from plants. Yeah, you're getting STDs from once plants. I find out how to sue plants, they're fucked. Uh, did you know <laughs> that? Did you? I didn't know that that's kind of like an STD. You get freaking what is it, poison oak or something like that, because it's it's its sexual organs that are that you're touching or something like that. Oh my god. Really? Yeah, yeah, tree perverts out yeah. there. I think I got a little on my arm there. Oh, <laughs> a little man. poison oak on the old I arm. I just realized that earlier. Dropping her up and down. He said he had a little on his face right there. <laughs> I don't yeah. have a nickname for this yet, so you're lucky. But in a few days, I will have a nickname for tree people. I don't know. This is going <laughs> to be awesome. <laughs> yeah. I did not know that. Weekend and, yeah, I must have gotten up. 
next to a vine. <laughs> uh, next to a vine. That's insane. Oh my goodness. And uh, Pat, you had mentioned something about the land grab. Now I know that, uh, as I've heard, Montana. There's actually this grandma TikToker farmer. I don't know if y'all have ran into her yet or not from old Montana there, but she had mentioned it a few times also. And then I know that it's yeah, big uh, in in old Texas and. You talking about the funny? It's like the two sons and then the grandma. Or, yeah, yeah, she's a trip. Yeah, she's yeah, a, she yeah. really is. I can't remember her. The that ain't the Gat, not the Gatlin. No, I, they're in Oklahoma. I can't remember the name, but they're funny. But yeah, she put up a video. Yeah, uh, about the China grab and man, it's yeah. crazy. They own. What gets me is we know of about three hundred eighty thousand acres that they right. own, but. My thing is, how many do we not know? Because, again, they use entities to purchase land. Shell corporations. Shell corporations, yeah. It ain't Long Duck Dong that's out there buying the ground on that name. Yeah, it'll be a corporation. And then if you track it, if you trace it back, it has Chinese origins. But And then I didn't even realize it until today. But when I was researching about the land issue for that video I put out, I try to not be a complete dumbass when I share the videos. And China, they're apparently supposed to report when they purchase the land. They have to report this purchase. I don't know which bureau to the United States, but you have 90 days to report the purchase. Yeah. If you don't report the purchase, you get fined. And I think it's like a $120,000 fine. Like it's a pretty hefty fine. Yeah. And some of those, they said some of those land purchases happened 20 years ago and they still oh, were never fined. Goodness sakes. Yeah. And, and I can't help but think like for myself and the row crop side, we yeah. killed a farm. One of the first farms I'll never forget. We did a turbo till on it, which is vertical tillage. It's very shallow and it doesn't disturb the topsoil like deep tillage disking or something. And we got, in trouble because we didn't realize that it was highly erodible soil is what they classified it as. You're not supposed to do any tillage on that. And they fined us $10,000 for running a turbo till on it. And we had to pay it. Like you try to fight it and they will call all your loans and basically they'll put you out. And so we had to pay it. So I'm like, man, the American farmer, we get fined. We got to pay it like right then. How the hell's China over here buying shit 20 right. years from that? No fines. Like, it's just shady. It's really yeah. shady. And it's funny you bring that up, too, because it's like you go to tax auctions. Go to a tax auction. You'll get, you get a whole fucking house with its property for 600 bucks. And whatever the fucking back taxes were, which ends up being like, I don't know, six, seven thousand dollars. You get like this three, four hundred thousand dollar property because somebody didn't pay twelve hundred dollars when you wanted it paid. Yeah. But yeah, you've got all these random corporations come. Arizona's got a huge problem with uh, Saudi Arabia right now. Yeah. We actually touched on it. Pat Pat reminded reminded. Well, me here's earlier. Charles, here's the thing. The guy that we were talking about bought 140,000 acres. His plan was in 2016 to start building 15,000 different, I guess it says little subsidiary acre plots. So 15,000 times whatever to get to 140,000 acres. $110 million this guy paid for this land, 140,000 acres, whatever. You know, he's going to make it a solar farm. The, it takes 27 years to make his money back with that solar farm. So yeah. what the fuck did he buy the land for? There's yeah. no way. There what it's that's not what it was for. So they can just lie and say they're going to do this, do that with it. Like you said it's going to lay dormant, going to lay empty and they're going to do nothing with it. They're I holding lost, it for something. Yeah, I lost about 200 acres that I rented for this year to solar panels. They're moving in here really bad. They're from California. And then they have their offices are in Nashville. Nashville is Tennessee's California. Mm-hmm. I would consider it like yep, that's yep. our, <laughs> that is our. Liberal. It's funny you say that. It's, it seems like when you're going through the states, those bigger cities tend to reflect that for some god awful off reason. Nobody reads yeah. a history book. I don't know. Yeah. The wind turbines. You guys have a ton of those down there by you guys too, or no? Uh, we get a we got a shitload up here. Everywhere. Up everywhere here. up here. Yeah. Yeah, and it was so funny too when they were first coming in. 
man, they sold them, them landowners on some goods and they thought they were walking away with a yeah, big they're, bag. They're and, all regretting it now. So. Yeah. A couple of years later, all I've heard now is uh, yeah. too many, too close. You don't big, get the power. Too, big, too many, too close, yeah, too loud. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's just that it's not that windy here or our terrain, but right. Uh, Cause we're not, we've got some flat ground, but even when you get like into the river bottom acreage it's yeah well, yeah tornado know. coverage isn't in the insurance pamphlets in y'all's state eh? yeah <laughs> i said the tornado damage isn't in the insurance pamphlet in yeah, yeah. state Man. Hey, there's flood damage yeah. yeah they get you everywhere and they know what they're doing yeah oh yeah that's man i don't know i'll tell you i wonder why are they because some of the ground they're buying here really good ground the ground that i lost is was probably my best farm and it's very fertile ground. And that's where they're putting the panels out here. We're not seeing like the shitty low yield farms. It's really yeah. good ground. And right where I was working at, they bought several thousand acres. And it was actually yeah. funny. I met with them. I don't remember if I, no, I think it was it before. I may have talked about it. I don't remember on last episode, but I had to meet with two women that came down from Nashville that yeah. work with that corporation. They wanted to meet me on the farm. And they were just blown away by soybean. Like there was soybeans on the farm. And she was like, what is this? And I said, it's soybeans. And she started taking pictures. And both of them yeah. said, I've never seen this before. Were and they from there? <laughs> oh, I bet you they are not. <laughs> they drove from Nashville here. They passed they did have hundreds them. of thousands of acres of soybeans. They had in no that, clue what they were that, looking at. That's so funny. Yeah. When we I helped move X person, uh, friend, whatever you want to call them, to Colorado, and one of when one of the people in Colorado had asked us because the one was excited about a dishwasher and a washer and dryer in the house, and they're like, "Oh, do you wash your clothes still outside? Like you guys go to the bathroom and the UP, <laughs> and it's fuck the UP is not Escanaba into moonlight, like." <laughs> You could have Googled that and it would have told you. Sure, in fact, I had a restroom in my f-ing house, but no, that's fine. I'm you out there every board. morning, every you morning. Do. You got a washboard? Yeah, the washboard. Yeah, that's what I call it. Yeah, but thank you. Yeah, the get the hole out in the backyard. It's, yeah. very, uh, it's very good for the soul. When it rained, that was my favorite part. I got really clean when it rained. It's, it's the UP there. We Roll don't have those pipes dirt. that run. That what sweat is it, back uh, in the ground. Yeah. It's yeah. that H2O substance. Yeah, water. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, too, though. Even in the beginning of this podcast, the only thing I know about farmland is son-in-law. And honestly, it's got just weird Hollywood creates all these weird thoughts in your mind. And that's what you go out into the big old world with. And yeah, man, when you find out they were wrong, it really cuts you. And then these, I will give them credit. Both of these chicks were really friendly. They were very nice. I had a pistol yeah. on. I wasn't sure how they would respond, but yeah. I wasn't going to not have my gun, but it was under my shirt. Yeah. I don't know if they even noticed, but it, I was mm-hmm. definitely imprinting, but I was like, I I don't know if they've ever been around a gun. Judging by them, I felt like they probably would have not been fans of the Were they they wearing the old pantsuits? No. One chick had on very high blue jeans. Like, they came up with really jeans. I guess they're in style right now. I don't know. But she had, like, big – she just kind of struck me as a very green – she looked I, like she my was first way. my first inclination is I doubt they're native Tennesseans. Yeah, I saw <laughs> probably not. Nashville yeah. is much it's like New York City. Like it's, nobody is from there that are there. Not I, mean, it, I always which I, it's funny that I make this connection but yeah. Nashville is our version of Austin, yeah, Texas. Yeah. yeah. Like big hipster, music hipster center Nashville. like yeah, like yeah. it's hippie. Like yeah. the number two, like bachelorette city in the cut, like it's party town now. A lot of yeah. vapors, a lot everybody for there. <laughs> oh, Nashville is incredibly expensive. Yeah. Oh, everybody Nashville like loves to go to Nashville. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. a lot of vapors. Nashville whole life. Like, what's something cool about Nashville? But yeah, it's it, and they've gone. M- Memphis gets crapped on because we're just outside of Memphis. 
Yeah. yeah. Memphis deserves most of the crap it catches. Hey, but tell Nashville to come over here, man. Memphis blow them out of the water. Memphis, Memphis <laughs> got – You're telling them to take them in a fist fight? Because I right. guarantee you Memphis, Memphis is going to win that one. Memphis <laughs> with, with poverty and crime. But yeah. Nashville's gone completely left wing, yeah. low, all yeah. the BS, all the crazy protests and stuff. Memphis has behaved a thousand times better than Nashville. I've has. been shocked. I have been shocked oh, a yeah. thousand times better because yeah. it's always yeah, yeah. rich white kids with purple hair that are the ones. Seriously, it's always like you just they walk into the photo and you're like, fuck, the Smurfs are here. We're fucking going to yeah. be in trouble. Yeah, it's not the minorities that are acting stupid. No, it's, it's the crazy liberal white kids. Oh, it's so frustrating, man. It is. Not just, a lot. Life was much easier when they were in the basement. Like, just go back to your fucking parents' basement. I'm sorry. We all made fun of you so much. And you're like, fine, I'll come out. We don't want you. We fucked up. We're sorry. Now are the pizza rolls done? I want to come upstairs. Go back to your basement, please. <laughs> it was our Call of Duty stuff that ruined them. Our, oh my God! Trash talk yeah. them out of the basement. That's yeah. what did it. Yeah. You know how many parents I yelled at for yelling at me? Like you're letting your child play this game. Who's the bad parent here? Not me. <laughs> Not fucking me. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Those are some good times. I miss Modern Warfare too. We talk about it way too much. I think that was the last one I played. Maybe Modern Warfare too. Probably. It's I been did. years. It's been yeah. years. I got a nephew that trying to think he's like 12 and yeah. he's gotten into video games and he plays and i hadn't played online in a long time and yeah. i i don't remember maybe he was here at our house or something and i was like i had to knock the dust off i got an xbox one yeah. or something and i said i'll play it on here i'll show you i said man i used to be a freaking dirt napper on here i fired it up had to do an update i think to play it. <laughs> we get in there and dude i i still had it after a yeah. couple of matches yeah. i was smoking them and he was like he was really blown away so i was like hey yeah man you can't doubt yeah. your uncle man yeah, i tell all them young bloods i said i was alive when this dark magic was created don't come yeah. after me with this oh, weak patronus what crap what did Bane tell him, man? You, what did he say? You adopted the dark. I was born in it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Oh, man. Although, arguably, I do get my ass kicked often by 12 and 13 year olds. And oh, I it's just played well, much. So that's yeah. a given. Yeah. It's just, it's, you get shot and you're like, you hear, oh, you're yeah. like, hey, I'll bring your fucking house down. <laughs> yeah. I can find out where you live. I'm sorry, I need to turn this off now. <laughs> yeah. I quit. This is the I quit. Get the I quit from him. Yeah. Then I go and play like some single player game on super easy because it's just a much calmer life now. Like, Shut up, Goblin. Well, I'll tell you, if you want to get Bobby Lee riled up, you need to talk about taxes because he's a big believer in taxes. <laughs> They have a purpose, but they also have not. They also have not a purpose. I do. Yeah, I don't understand taxes. <laughs> I don't. I think it's like an old person's game. I you think can it wrap your head around what the purpose that... is, but you can also wrap your head around the fact that we don't need all of them. But yeah, yeah. the fact that like ninety five percent of them are completely just trash. Well, or just somehow filtered back into the politicians' pockets one way. Yeah. And I think the number, the one that we need to pay is obviously sales tax because it goes back to and state taxes probably as well. But but your income tax one just makes no sense to me. Income I think income tax, tax one. Property tax. tax is the one that I. Property, yeah, property no, tax I, is wild. Okay, the, okay, the prop. Okay, but pay property tax one time when you purchase. Uh, yeah. And make it a little I mean, bit stiffer. Sure. I yeah. love it, but sure. yeah. Yeah, no. in fact, you have to pay it every year. You never own no. your own land. Yeah, no. Oh, no, you're leasing it from the government, yeah. basically. I guess my biggest thing with it, with taxes, right? Like, I I wouldn't care how much I pay in taxes if I could see what the fuck my taxes were doing. Yeah. Don't tell me what they are doing with oh, so you absolutely want the little, no fucking the little result. bouncy ball to fucking come down the thing and tell you exactly where your money's going. I, penny I by mean, penny okay, so if, if the government gives Scrooge me a McDuck, grant, what are you doing? Listen, here's the thing. If the government gives me a grant, I have to, to the fucking penny, show them with receipts where every fucking cent went or I'll never get a grant again. And I have to pay all that fucking money back regardless. If, One if penny. They, they probably know if we knew exactly where it all went. There'd be a total. Up I, I'll pay twelve grand a year in taxes. Show me that twelve grand is going to those children 
that fucking school, that fucking yeah. road, that fucking bridge, oh, that yeah. fucking education system, but you can't. No. Charles, that's exactly why when they said audit the Fed, it'll never happen. No. Ever. It'll it's never I, happen. I'm literally, I'm convinced about 10% of it goes to legit. I agree. I absolutely agree. Look at these weed states outside of fucking Colorado who literally had to show the world that we could do this right outside of Colorado, who was getting roads done in overnight stretches, two mile fucking stretches. You go to sleep, you wake up, there's no more potholes, right? Schools were getting fucking computers out the ass from corner to corner. I get that. Right. But drive through fucking Michigan for 12 minutes. You'll shoot your fucking car and you'll buy a plane ticket, and you'll head back home. It's crazy. And the entire time you're asking yourself, what the, f this is one of the richest tax states in America. Where, where is all the money going? This is insane. Politicians' pockets hiding in the wind. Well, what are you going to do? People get in trouble for talking those. about that. We should we talk trouble. about Hillary. Maybe I'll get shot. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. I, 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 if you ever hear of me, I always say getting suicided, man, because that's why I'm like, you need to do some research. I've seen yeah. Shooter. You know, they got the yeah. thing they yeah. put on, you make you shoot yeah. yourself. In yeah. I love that movie. Hell yeah. 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 Gotta flush the drugs yeah. out your system, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> that is a great movie. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Charles are rolling in, on, rolling in on 50, and I. Papa Bear's got to edit. Yeah. Hey, listen, guys, plug yourself. Anything yeah. cool coming up? Anything at all? We're actually, we're approaching episode 100. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, man. Yeah. Uh, we're pretty, yeah we're, yeah. we're like, yeah, we're in the mid 90s somewhere. Yeah. Like yeah, we're, I think we're at and, 43. So we just keep on trucking, man. It's, yeah. Like, and you might, like, we both, oh, yeah, we just started doing it. He had been on me for about, I don't know, six months. And finally, I was like, all right, we'll do it. And, I just kept doing it. That's so cool. Kept showing up every week. Yeah. And the podcast is called Talk Dirt. Talk Dirt to me. Yep. Talk Dirt to yeah. me. And it can be found everywhere. Yeah, we're on YouTube, Instagram. You can go to our website, talkdirtpodcast.com. Reach out to us. And hopefully in a few months, you'll look. Bobby Lee's going to have a Hulk Hogan skullet yeah. on the show. There you go. Yeah. Ah. But, but, yeah. Uh, check we're, us out. And yeah, we're having a, we're trying to get subscribers and, we blew through our first goal, and so we, Logan's gonna grow a ponytail. And I'm like, nice, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I wish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. good. We're good. All this beautiful my chance to ever have a mullet, but I was like, I'll do a skullet. If we skullet, get man. Mullet, <laughs> I would by the end of September. I, Listen, don't I think thought I, I would fucked have up by saying I was gonna <laughs> grow one. I think they would disown me. Oh man, that's too oh, cool. Well, love it. She'll love a skullet. <laughs> oh, there you go. I Let's can't see. wait to see it. Do hey, it by the, the way. Vibe. I'll contribute. You got a GoFundMe? Let's do it. I'll throw <laughs> some oh, oh, we're just looking for reviews. All we yeah. want is yeah. Yeah. reviews. All right. Yeah. We'll, ratings we will. reviews for the I'll wow. be sending that. We'll be sending everybody over there for the reviews. Everybody go review because we definitely need to see that skull. We, we need the skullet. <laughs> I want to see the skullet really bad. Like I said, <laughs> please, please, we gotta get there. Guys, so, hey man, we've had a great time. We appreciate y'all having yeah. us. Hey, we appreciate, appreciate you guys, guys so much. Thank you, thank fun. you. And uh, until next time, listen to all of our viewers out there and all of our listeners. We love you so much, and remember to smile more. You never know whose life you may be saving because of it. <laughs>